Hello there, my name is Gard, and today I'm going to do a quick little video on how to be hop, um, and also I'm going to detail some other advanced techniques revolving be hopping, uh, like slide be hopping. So, first things first, let's answer the question what is be hopping? Uh, you may be familiar with the term be hopping because it's in other games, but be hopping is a technique that allows you to retain aerial momentum or gain aerial momentum. So you can move faster than you normally would on foot or just, you know, jumping one time. Um, if you take a look at my movement speed with this weapon, and I do have my weapon sway turned up for a reason, a little bit later. Uh, you can see that, you know, my movement speed is, you know, decently fast since I have this weapon, but it is not as fast as I can go in this game. If I decide to press space, I can gain a little bit of momentum in the air. Uh, you can actually chain these jumps using specific timing to more or less retain that momentum do lose a little bit of momentum between jumps and you don't really gain that much momentum but it definitely is much faster than just walking take a look it's gonna take me a while to get to the other end of that um, the timing is pretty basic with this technique to get the timing correct basically all you have to do is press jump just before or as you land on the ground uh, the earlier it is in terms of uh, pressing the spacebar as soon as you can jump, the more momentum you retain. If you wait a second, you're going to lose a little bit of momentum. If you wait for you to land completely, you're going to lose all your momentum. Uh, normal B hopping should be a pretty repetitive kind of motion. In this game, when you're bee hopping, you, you are supposed to be holding forward um, and or strafing in a direction that you want to. Strafing does give a slight movement increase, so if you want to strafe and bee hop, you go a little bit faster. It's a little bit harder because if you want to aim, you have to switch between moving forward and uh, diagonal. Uh, now that I've gone over what regular bee hopping, there is a uh, an extension to the bee hopping technique called slide bee hopping. Uh, if you don't already know, in this game, there's a mechanic where you can slide on the ground. If you jump and in the air crouch, you will slide, like so. Uh, if you see my gun move sideways, that is me crouching. Um, the reason I have my weapon sway turned up is so I can actually show you the timing of these crouches and jumps as I demonstrate the slide bee hop technique. Whenever you see my weapon go that way, I'm crouching. Whenever you see it go up, I uncrouch. Um, basically the workflow for slide bee hopping is you're going to jump, you're going to crouch, and then you're going to jump out of the slide. Um, this technique is powerful because it really helps in terms of cornering when you're bee hopping because whenever you slide, the momentum, uh, uh, the slide gives you forward facing momentum. So wherever you're facing, you're going to get the momentum, the momentum of the slide. Let me just demonstrate this uh, technique a little bit right here. So uh, if you see that uh, the speed of slide bee hopping is definitely faster than uh, definitely faster than regular bee hopping. Um, the interesting thing is if you want to go a direction, you're going to face that direction as you slide bee hop. So if I want to round this corner, I face the direction of the corner and it almost feels like you're drifting around that corner with the slide. So let's say I'm playing the game you can do some pretty cool movement stuff with slide B hopping.
where you can get to places much uh, much quicker than you normally would running and actually regular bee hopping. Um, you can combine the two. So let's say let's say I want to mo move from here to here while slide bee hopping. I can you know come around this corner, slide bee hop, and when I get here, do a regular bee hop so I don't whiff the slide bee hop on the slope. Um, if you get good at this, and I admit I'm not the greatest at this, you can basically fly around the map wherever you want. Uh, this is just a basic overview of how to do these things. Um, if you see me, I'm only a level six. I've been playing this game for about a day, but I wanted to give you my observations in terms of the movement of this game and talk about, you know, how interesting and how powerful the system that they've developed is. This is basically, uh, basically a game I've been wanting. You have, uh, some nice movement techniques and Call of Duty style, uh, gunplay. One last thing. If you're trying to corner with your slides, if you extend the slide, you will lose a bit of momentum in exchange for change in direction. So let's say I need to make a sharp turn at a higher speed, rather than immediately jumping out of the slide, you can hold the slide for longer by not jumping and holding crouch. Um, if let me Let me try to demonstrate that. Oops. Oops, I keep messing up. If you see, I held the slides over there and over there a little bit longer uh, to get a sharper change in angle when it comes to uh, my slide view hops. So this is a, a quick unscripted video about my observations while playing this game. If you have any suggestions or feedback, just leave a comment. Um, leave a comment rather than uh, leave a constructive comment rather than sending hate, uh, because I am relatively new to this game and I would appreciate some advice. One last thing, while you're sliding. Um, if you brush against walls, you don't lose momentum. That's a pretty big deal. It lets you lets you get away with a little bit of slop in, in your movement. Um, anything else? Leave a comment. Have a good one. Bye.